Get ready to tone your arms and flatten those abs. Grab a pair of light to medium free weights and let's do this. All right, you guys, so we're gonna start this with just one free weight. So you can grab anything from a 10 pound weight to a five pound weight. Casey's gonna be showing you all the modifications today and me and Brittany are gonna go full out, okay? So the first move that we're gonna start with is gonna be just an easy standing march with a figure eight. So you're gonna bring one knee up and as you do, you're gonna cross that weight across your body in a figure eight motion and just alternate sides. So you're picking that leg up, you're pulling those abs in, and the longer your arms stay, the more you're gonna feel that core working. You guys feeling it? Yes, right away. Oh yeah, so keep your weights in tight here. If you wanna keep your weight close to your body, it's gonna be easier. If you really wanna feel it, get those arms out almost extended long, right? So you're down, and you're just feeling yourself kinda of chop across. I call it the figure eight, not a chop, but it's either, right? Make sure to breathe. We're going back and forth. And when you're pulling that knee up, really pull the abs in. All right, you're twisting from the core, so allow yourself to rotate. You're working your obliques, your back, all the stomach muscles, and your shoulders too, right? Feel it everywhere. A little bit of everything. <laughs> it's a good warm up move, that's why I like it. One more. Cross, boom, I love it. Now we're gonna go right into a wood chopper. So this goes high to low, we're gonna go high to low. So you're gonna bend those knees, twisting yourself a little bit to the outside of the knee. You're gonna come up, cross, go across the body, and then back down, so down and up. Now you can allow your hips to twist a little bit here, but make sure you're really rotating through your core. Your trunk should be twisting, and you're gonna stop that weight from being thrown to the ceiling. So if I was gonna throw that weight up, I would, a little power, a little speed, but I'm gonna stop it using my core muscles. Good job, you guys. I'm already out of breath here. This is a car, a cardio move as well. One more, throw it up, boom. All right, now, other side. Remember what I said, you're going slow, and then you're gonna be, throw that weight up there. And then at the very end, you're stopping that weight from releasing and reaching the moon. I have a lot of strength to stop it up there. It does. And the harder you try to throw it up, with a nice little whip move, the better, but be safe. Go as fast as you feel comfortable because if your weight's really heavy, it gets a little bit dangerous. Whew. Allow your feet to be light. You're pivoting a little bit. Whew. Two more. Boom. Up. One more. Ah, love it. All right. Nice. So your arms and your abs warming up. Come on down to the floor. So for this now move, we're gonna be doing a leg extension with an overhead extension. So grab your weight with both hands. Awesome, Brittany, good, awesome. Now, knees up at 90. If you're following the modification, look at Casey. She's gonna extend her heel to the floor, extend her arms up overhead, working her lats, working her triceps, bring it back, and then switch. Whew. Exhale on the way down and up. If you wanna extend your leg all the way out long, it's gonna be a little harder. Get it. Woohoo! Good. So really remember, exhale on the way down, keep your back flat to the floor. You wanna keep feel those abs nice and gauged. So you don't have a big arch. See how my back would arch? I want you to really think about pulling your back, your low back to the floor. Shh, exhale and bring it up. Your arms should be working too. My abs are shaking <sighs> too. Yeah, if you're really engaging the core, then your abs are gonna be on fire. So remember, really think about exhaling and pulling your back down towards the ground. You guys are looking good. I wish I could see you right now, but I'm focused. <laughs> Focus. Good, let's go. Two more. Exhale. Shh. Breathe. Shh. Shh. And relax. All right, back up on your feet, ladies. Now that you have that nice little warm up round, let's go for round two. Let's do it. All right, so we've got that weight. We're going to go with those figure eights with that standing march. Ready? And bring that leg up, come across, and slightly back and forth here with a tempo that's like not slow, but not fast, right? Because the more control you have, with this move, the harder it's gonna be. Yeah, because you can feel yourself, you're like, oh, I wanna fall over to the side, and that can easily happen, right? Definitely. Sorry, ladies, I totally threw you off trying to show what not to do, <laughs> right? So it's easy, you gotta fight gravity here. <sighs> Breathe it out, good. Back and forth, <sighs> that's it. <sighs> Man, I am loving this one, because I feel it in my back and my obliques. Yeah, my core's <sighs> just twisting, just ringing out. Yeah. Ring it out, I love that idea. Ring it out. 
Back and forth, you got it. <clears throat> two more. One, last one, two. Now let's go into those wood choppers, you ready? Remember, light and nimble on the feet. Let your feet kind of pivot here, because as you go down, you don't, wanna, you don't wanna plant your feet. You want your hips to be a little bit loose, and then rotate, down and up. There's so many different ways you can do a wood chopper here, but for this one today, we want our hips to move with us. Remember, throw that weight up, come on. And then slow it down right at the top, boom! That's it. Up and down, you got it. Aggressive and using those legs a little bit. That's it. One more. Up, ha. Other side, let's go. That's you guys look good. Right. You should, you should. Here we go, down and up, squeeze, good. Now, when you wanna think about having a little bit more fun with this exercise, you start singing a song, it really gets you fired up. What's your song, Brittany? Do you have I'm one? I of like Snow White or something. A Snow White gets her fired up. All right. I'm with you. Don't stop till you get enough. All right, <laughs> let's do it. Last two. One more, good, and up. Oh, all right, my legs are feeling it too there. Let's come on down. So for this one now, you guys remember, you can go modified or regular, but make sure your first objective is pressing that back down into the floor and extend, ready? Here we go. Exhale, and exhale on the way up. So it's a inhale at the way down and exhale on the way up. Good. Always keeping the breath flowing. Good. Nice job, you guys. I hear your breath. <laughs> I can't I do like anything it. else. <laughs> I like it. A lot of times if you focus on your breath, you're not thinking about the burn as much. And then it's over. And then it's over. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Good. Come on. Fight gravity here. Really pull the back to the floor. When those arms go long. Good. Last two. Last one. Oh, Yikes. Oh, I love it. Good oh, job, ladies. Thanks, guys. All right, now grab both of your weights. You're gonna bring them onto the floor and we're gonna go into a plank position. If you're modifying, look at Casey. She's on all fours, just like this. Hands underneath her shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We're gonna go all the way up into a push-up position and we're gonna do a plank and row. So here, core is nice and strong. You're gonna pull one arm up, bring the elbow back and then slowly bring it to the floor. I said slowly bring it to the floor. <laughs> Don't just let it drop, right? She up, got us. <laughs> slow, good. <sighs> bring it up, exhale on the way up, and you wanna try to fight rotating your hips all the way. Br Brittany, great job, I just I'm looked at her. To fight it. And she looks really good. Nice so guys. your feet wider is gonna make that easier, all right? And if you need to modify, just go from the hands and knees. You're still working your back, you're working your arms. Oh yeah. And that's good core work as well. <sighs> Boom. Last couple. <laughs> Everybody feeling okay? We're All right. It. You got it. One more. Let's get that last one up. Beautiful. And then grab those weights and come to your feet. Oh, All right. If you're sweating, that's a good thing. Right? We got the body warmed up. Now, we're going to do a little twist here but keeping an isometric grip on the weights at 90 degrees. So biceps are flex, right? Ooh. Everybody feeling good? Yeah, already. Now we're gonna go with a little twist. Don't pivot your feet this time. We're gonna rotate back and forth. Now it's all coming from my torso. My abs are totally engaged. I'm pulling my belly button in toward my spine and I'm twisting. That weight, who is that little bit momentum now? If I go a little quicker, I'm gonna oh, feel it more. But if your weights are heavier, you can't go too fast because you want to control the movement with your abdominals, right? You're not just letting momentum take you. You're twisting with intention. All right, I feel it right through my trunk. My biceps are also on fire. Fire. Good, just 10 pounds. That's all I got. Last two. Oh, you got. <laughs> Woo. And relax. Okay. Now, single legged curl and press. Now, when you do any overhead movement, you're going to require a lot of work from the core. Casey's just gonna go from two feet. We're gonna go up another level and go from one foot. But do what you feel is comfortable for you at first. So you can be one foot or two feet. You can do a hammer curl and then overhead press. I'm just keeping my palms facing in, okay? So it's down and up. So curl, 
press. Oh. Nice, guys. Now, by balancing, uh, you use a lot of core, right? So I'm really gotta engage, pull my belly in. Up and down, good. Good, if you pick that knee up higher, you're gonna feel your abs working a little bit more even, right? Good, down and up, good. And remember, breathing during the exertion of the exercise. So it's a and you are amazing. Let's switch sides. Gotta challenge both, right? Keep going with two there, Casey. You got it. Up and down. And down. I gotta get my knee up higher. I'm nice, slack, slacking a little bit. Brittany, how you doing on one foot? I'm good. You just good? I like all the stability stuff. Today. It's so good. She's killing it over there. Keep the belly pulled in tight. Feel your core engage. Good. You guys are looking awesome. Let's go two more here, just like that. Oh, it's burning. Press down and out. One more. Curl, press, palms in, palms in. Awesome job. You guys feeling okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and now let's back down. I always think that around two is where we really push our muscles to the limit, maybe even three. But today we're just doing two. So let's go back into that row. Okay, think about the core engaged, abs are in tight, booty is squeezing. You're gonna row, slowly bring it down. Keeping those shoulders and those hips as square to the floor as possible. Good job, good, Casey, that looks awesome. My God, this is hard for me. You guys, <laughs> that's why I'm not talking. I'm feeling it. You look so good. Oh baby, I love the encouragement. Good, slowly bring it down. Nice job, you guys. If you're shaking it, then you're waking it. Your and you're muscles, it. Your, and you're making it. Your muscles are awakening. Good. Last one. Bring it up and slowly bring it down. Back up on the feet. Let's right. go with those bicep curls and that twist. Hold on to those weights. Remember, nice flex bicep is where we want to feel it, and we want to be twisting with intention, coming from the middle. So you're leading as if all the muscles of your torso are doing the turning. Good, you gotta stop those weights from bringing you in a circle, Ooh. right? That's what would happen. So think about it, if I was gonna go all the way around, you're stopping yourself. Stop, 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 stop. You're gonna feel it through that core. You guys like it? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm this is my it. favorite. <laughs> Come on. Good, two more. Two, one, and let's go with those curls, all right? So back to arms, even though my arms are still feeling it. Oh, yeah. Are your arms still feeling it? I think so. So one foot, bring that knee up, curl, overhead, down and out. Nice. I don't know how you guys are balancing, but it looks cool. It's so cool. I don't know how you're doing We're tens, so cool Anna. right now. Even though my shoulders, my arms, and what I love about free weights is that your forearms get a lot of work too, because yeah. you're gripping, using your hands, which makes your forearms stronger, which is gonna make all those exercises easier when you can grip, especially pull-ups. So if you've been trying to do pull-ups. How did you know? Yeah. <laughs> See, all girls want to be able to do a pull-up. So and you've got to strengthen your grip. So holding on to free weights, doing these exercises is a really, really good practice. And then when your wrists are in push-up position, they're not going to hurt as much because those forearms are stronger. They're going to support you in that position. Come on, up two more. So after this, I could do American Ninja Warrior. That's it. <laughs> if you're trying to go for American Ninja Warrior, you've got a lot more work to do, but I'm sure you can get there. All right, let's go back down, set those weights. All right, now we've got a last round. We're going to do a V-sit, so you're just going to need one weight for this. It's a V-sit with a chest fly, single arm chest fly. So you're gonna have yourself in a V-sit position. Heels are gonna start on the floor for most people that just start this move, okay? So ladies, keep it down. You're gonna have one weight in the hand. You're coming out for a little open chest fly. And you're gonna switch in the middle, bringing it to the other side. All right, so you're going slow, so you're fighting gravity here. If I wanted to challenge a little bit more my core, I'm gonna bring both feet up. Nice. You can even do one foot and progress there, okay? So it's totally up to you, whatever you wanna do for this one. Back and forth. here. <laughs> Stay right where you're good. Challenging, but safe. Hello. That transfer good. weight is so hard. Now, yes, and if your feet are off the ground, you're gonna feel it even more. Oh my God. So remember, <laughs> Keep your heels down, Brittany, if you need to. Brittany's got an eight-pounder, yeah. 
it's a really tough move for nice, girl. a lot of things. Back and forth, baby, baby. Yeah. Now notice how my elbow is bent. It's keeping my elbow safe. It's okay to bend that elbow slightly. You don't need a straight arm. Back and forth, because this weight's pretty heavy for a girl like me. <laughs> okay, good. Use whatever weight's good for you. Last one, last one. Good, and relax. Come on out to your feet, ladies. Now, we all love the tricep, right? Yes. So grab both weights, all right? And we're gonna do a kickback. Now, if you don't do these a lot, start. It's a great exercise to work your back shoulders and triceps. You're gonna go in a little runner position here. Look at their back, it's so flat, I love it. Booty's out, chest is up, elbows are up high, and you're gonna start just going one arm at a time. Back and forth. Warm up those triceps a little bit, right? Oh, they're warm, they're so warm. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so elbows are up high. Try not to let your elbows sink down here because then you're not really working anything. You're just letting gravity do the, do the work. So you gotta use those arms. Elbows up nice and high. If you wanna challenge yourself even more, go double, up and down. Back and forth. You guys are doing great. Keep your back nice and double. flat. A lot of times people get tired and they start going like this. Don't do that, keep your chest up and hips back. Good, two more. One off. And a two -ah. And relax. You guys are awesome. So you proud too. of you. That okay. Awesome. My arms are on fire. Now, one weight again. We're going overhead side bends. I love this move. So your arms are on fire. Your lats are already working. Feet are about hip width apart. Not like this. Hip width. All right. So you're here. Arms are pretty long. And you're fighting gravity as that weight wants to fall over. Now, right here, Think about not letting your hips shift too much. I don't want you going into a side bend. I want you to fight the side bend. So you're just getting the stretch through your waistline. And your arms are, lo are long. You guys feel it okay? Oh yeah. yeah. Woo. My abs aren't used to this. No kidding. I mean, these are the kinds of moves where you're using arms, you're using a lot of core, a lot of oblique. Last one. Oh. All right, one more round. Are you guys ready? Okay. okay. ready. <laughs> Single arm chest fly. Oh, my goodness gracious, here we go. V sit, feet are down, heels are down or heels are up. Sometimes if I have a weight, I'll give it a little toss if I have a ball. You, t you don't have to toss it though. Okay, just <laughs> hand it over, side to side. And remember on the way down is when you're really working the muscle. Right here when you're fighting gravity. You fight gravity, you're working that muscle. You have you let it sit there for a little bit. That's right, <laughs> it's like that little pause. And then bring it up. Good the hardest job. part. You're doing great. Awesome job, you guys. You're almost there. Back and forth. Two, two, one. And back up on your feet. Last two moves. Triceps first. Man, if you need a sip of water, take it. We are just rolling through this. But if you need a sip, take it now. You want to take it? Yeah. Okay, maybe I do too. Okay. We got two more moves, and we need a sip of water. My mouth is. I love it. Staying right. hydrated. Remember, <laughs> sips of water, not guzzles, because then your belly's all full. You don't want that. <laughs> all right, here we go. Bend the knees, hips out, chest up, and go. Kick it back. You're going one at a time or two. It's up to you. You guys are looking good. Oh, the two is really challenging. Once your, sh once your shoulders and triceps have been fired up, really does make a difference. I'm starting to get tired, so now that I got have your weights, I'm just gonna go one at a time. Remember, you can always modify these, okay? To keep good form. <sighs> Breathing it out. You're looking good. <sighs> we are so close. So close. <laughs> Last one. Last two. Well, I mean, you gotta get one on each arm. Of course. Right? Okay, sorry, I can't count really. All right, here we go. <laughs> Drop that weight overhead. Last move. Now, really, remember here, it's more of the weight getting you stretched right here and here. Okay, and so hold it nice and strong. Don't let your hips pop out. So you're here, and you're fighting gravity. <laughs> Slower the better. Nice. You're not trying to win a race here. You're trying to win the long run. That's nice, strong core. I love that. Under control. This is my Heck favorite. yeah. <sighs> Breathe, come on. Pull, right here, abs are tight. Squeeze it in. <sighs> come on, breathe. <sighs> Back and forth. Good. Getting those shoulders and those lats. You want to do pull-ups. Here's another way 
to work on your lats and your strength and your triceps and your arms. Good, last two. One, two, and bring it on down. Now you guys, great job today. Let's do a couple stretches that I think are essential for today's workout. First one is the tricep extension. So you're gonna grab the back and then grab your elbow. I'm just showing from the behind side, that's it. Beautiful, so you're reaching right between your shoulder blades with that and your elbow is pointing up towards the sky so you can really feel a nice extension all through here. Now give yourself a slight bend like you were for that move, there it is. right? It's just a little bend and you're pulling from right here, getting that nice extension. Oh, feels good to let that out. Other side, remember, first you're reaching be behind between those shoulder blades and then you're pulling the elbow up towards the sky. You see a lot of times, people will just reach back and it's all the way out here. I want you to be pulling it to the midline. You can really feel a great pull. Elbow up towards the sky, take a nice deep breath. Feels so good. So good. Okay, the last one I wanna do is for chest and biceps. So you're gonna clasp your hands behind your back. All right, you're gonna open up, roll those shoulder blades back, pull those hands back a little bit. If you want, you can bend forward, reach those arms up towards the sky. You're getting chest and shoulders. Gotta this love this so one. Good. You also yeah. don't have to bend over at all. You can totally just do this, pull in your hands, try to get those palms to come together. And last one is going to be our rotator cuff stretch because none of you do this enough. And don't leave me just yet. Do not press stop just yet. So wrist on the hip like you're sassy. You're gonna grab your elbow and pull it forward. Okay, Ooh, so you don't wow. have to really pull hard to feel this. Yeah, yeah I don't do this ever. <laughs> okay, haha, <laughs> see, proof, right? Proof, and I bet you you are either. So please do me a favor and don't leave this one. All right, you wanna have loose chicken wings. These are our chicken wings, we need to have them loose. Ready, hand on the hip, and then pull that elbow forward. See, my hand is just on my hip, my wrist is relaxed. I could also bring it back further for less of a bend in my wrist because I have good flexibility through my rotator cuff. And I'm pulling my elbow forward, so I'm getting all my rotator cuff muscles in my shoulder opened up. And that's a healthy shoulder girdle if you have nice, loose rotator cuff muscles. Good job, you guys! Way to go! Nice. Working it! You guys are so awesome! Good. good job, Brett! Core is strong. Ooh.